Howdy and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we're gonna try American whiskey. Uh, not Kentucky whiskey, it's Tennessee whiskey from uh, the first distillery of, or first registered distillery in Tennessee, the uh, DSP TN number one Jack Daniels. I actually didn't know that before I had that bottle and so straight in front of me. Or maybe I just forgot it after I visited the distillery. Yeah, today we're gonna try the uh, bonded, and uh, next time I'm gonna try the triple mash. And the bonded is actually a legal term in the United States, uh, controlled by the ATF. They have, I don't know, ATF Title 25, Section 5, something, or in, the, in that direction, somewhere, maybe it's Title 5 to Section 25, I don't know. And it's a legal term defined by the ATF. Um, and bonded means uh, a few things. First of all, more than four years from one distillery, which is most obvious. And yes, they have this just Jack Daniels, pretty obvious. And more than four years and during one distilling season. So they have to all come from basically one year. And they have to be, in, I think, specially stored. And I'm not quite sure if they actually have to have 50 ABV or not. This one does have 50 ABV. Yeah, some, something with the ABVs is also up in that direction. Also, it's a Tennessee whiskey, also legally protected, but a Tennessee whiskey with a Lincoln County process and new age uh, uh, oak barrels and, and stuff. Uh, yeah, so. But what we also do know, they actually gave out their recipe, their mash bill, and it's uh, 50, any, not 50, 80% corn, a lot of corn. It's, you could call it a corn whiskey. And it's a 12% malted barley, which is really the minimum malted barley that you need to uh, not use any chemical enzymes for the mashing process. So that's, they want to be a natural product without enzymes, so they use 12% malted barley, which is a good thing. And then in the end, they have 8% rye, which just gives them a little more kick, which is unusual for, um, for Jack Daniels. Um, unfortunately, the tour to Jack Daniels Distillery was in 2015, I think. And yeah, I can't remember. I, I think I uh, have uh, given you the uh, mash bill during the distillery tour. And I, I think I remember that they have 12% malted barley, which is quite common for the Tennessee and Kentucky distilleries that they use 12% malted barley. And yeah, but yeah, I would have expected Jack Daniels to use a lot of corn in their whiskey because they are just, they are known for their sweet and mild whiskeys. So corn gives you a very sweet whiskey. Oh yeah, yeah, sweet whiskey. It has a, a very, yeah, American style whiskey note to it. It's very sweet, it has caramel goes even to maple syrup, very, very round and very nicely done. Mm, it has a, also still already, it has a bit of a oak note to it. It goes on with uh, that spiciness from the oak that just a bit more overwhelming, a bit more oomph to it. Yeah, it has a bit more strength to it. So it, it, from the nose already, you can feel, yeah, it's going well beyond what we know from the uh, old number seven. Mm. Mm. Oh, mm. A lot more volume to it. That gives you really a much, much, mm, with that volume gives you a lot much different perspective much much different perspective <laughs> to the old number seven yeah has a lot more volume caramel sweetness oakiness a little bit of spicy oakiness mm, and that grows on you so the sweetness fades out and the spiciness continues and uh, stays there mm, i love it and compared to the others you could compare it to a uh, what would you call it, Jack Daniels single barrel cask strength? That, I would say that is comparable in the region, although I think the uh, single barrel cask strength is a lot more expensive. This year is around 30 bucks. And yeah, the other one, 
I'm not quite sure, but it's, it's more expensive. So this here is really a good step up from the old number seven. Yeah, so nice, nicely done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, mm. strength on oh, if you take a second sip it really kicks in yeah 50 percent abv 100 proof is a lot more than you expect of that yeah it just reminds of the normal one because it's that, that square bottle so that's much more than you have for with from the old number seven so if you know somebody who's just oh, you yeah, like the old number seven uh then maybe you can give them the jazzed up version and show them hey whiskey is a bit more than just yeah that one bottle that everybody knows yeah now, a little bit of self-advertisement for everybody who comes from the netherlands this is actually uh, buyable at our shop whiskey.com uh, in the netherlands and you can buy it for around 30 euros and you can pay also pay in your ideal system or if you're paypal or any other payment method we have tons of that yeah thank you very much for watching and see you next time